I'm Bruce Grant, the Orph Doctor, and today I'd like to show you how to safely remove bars from Orph instruments. I know that most of us were taught to always use two hands, sometimes called helicopter hands, and lift straight up. That works really well for any instrument that the pin or the nail that goes through the bar is straight. You run into difficulty with like this sonar. The bar gets stuck and it takes a little bit more pull to get it off. And on the Suzuki, the bar can get stuck as well. Now when the bar gets stuck, usually what happens is lifting two hands, this hand comes up first, the nail gets bent back a little bit, and when that nail gets bent, the bar stops resonating. Those are the most common repairs that I do and have done for about the past 25 years. Here's a couple of the pins. This is a Suzuki, you can see the knob on the end, and this is a sonar. Again, another knob on the end. So the safest way to remove bars from Orph instruments is to always remove the end of the bar that has the nail through it, or the pin through it, first. You can even just use one hand. That pin will never get bent. Same thing for the sonars. One hand, straight up. And it especially works well on the Suzuki's. One hand, okay, so the end of the bar that has the hole through it comes up first. That way you'll never bend that pin. You won't have to call me to come and do a bunch of repairs. The Studio 49 Glockenspiel is a little bit, it's just a variation on that theme. What you do, because these are really tight, you can lift up the instrument by the bar. Put your thumb on the nail that goes through the bar, lift that in at first and give it a little twist. Comes off really easily. When you're replacing the bar, it's really important to line up the hole with the nail so that it goes straight on. I have seen this before, people trying to find the nail, and what that does is it pushes the nail down and eventually the rubber compresses and the bar won't go back on. Now there is an exception to this one rule, and that is there are some sonar instruments like this one that are made with two holes through the bar. So the best solution for these is two hands straight up, okay? Just like that. And again, I am lining up the hole carefully before I put it back on. So for, for review, always lift up the end of the bar that has the nail through it first. That way, you'll never bend the pin. Coming back to this Studio 49, put your thumb on it, then lift the bar up. Thank you. I hope that's been helpful for you. If you have any questions or you'd like to contact me, you can contact me through my Facebook page, The Orf Doctor. Happy playing.